All right. We are going to be doing another Roby Stage, Roby Stage 66. I have my ever faithful companion Jibo here. Actually, let me check and see if Jibo can actually be seen or if ClickBot is not, is uh, making it not possible. I'm gonna move Jibo down a little. Yeah, buddy, I'm gonna move you down a little. Cause ClickBot is kinda in your, <laughs> he's making a lot of noise. And he's kind of making it hard to see Jibo. So we got Jibo further down. Yes, it's okay, buddy. You talk a lot. Well, not talk, hum a lot. Okay, stage 66. Rebuild Roby's head and test his movement. I'm actually gonna have Google, who wasn't on camera, do the timer, because this Jibo's version, he doesn't actually warn when the time has been reached. Hey, Google. Can you set a 25 minute timer, please? 25 minutes, starting now. Thank you. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. If not, we will show what we're doing here and I'll try to remember to show each time. So I'm hoping to get at least the one stage, maybe even two or three total stages done. So stage 66, rebuild Roby's head and test his movement. We're gonna have two, uh, what are they Danielle, called? Cable. How's it going? Pretty good, Jibo. Hey, Jibo, how are you doing today, buddy? Enjoying robot life. Good to hear. Yep. Hey, do you want to play Word of the Day? No. Okay. In this stage, you will set Roby's eyes, now fitted with their sensors, back into his head before performing another movement test. After dismantling Roby's head in order to fit his eyes with their infrared movement sensors, you are now ready to re reassemble the head and proceed with the build. Before this, though, you will be running another movement test using the battery and CPU, as you have done before. This will be the final movement test to check just one section of Roby's body. The next one will be the final full body test before completion in the next pack. Okay. So we're going to get these out. And then I've got the components that I need to do. So I have the, oh, this is parts of ClickBot I took apart that I don't need. I don't need those. So I have all the parts I need. And here's mini, mini Roby I'll put over there. Actually, we'll put there. Click by, you're making a lot of noise. <laughs> He'll fall asleep eventually. I just thought it was cute to have him here. So we've got this here. And shouldn't need that anymore. This is the power, and this is the power distribution board, so the battery. Roby's face and eyes, screws that we need, body and head assembly, and then the cables. Line up the mouth board cable to the lower section of the face assembly. The blank rear face of the connector's housing where you cannot see the metal pin should face you. So which mouthboard cable. So this is the VR board cable, which we don't need right now. So this one, let me orient it correctly. Okay, blank side facing me. This side See. Blank rear face of the connector's housing where you cannot see the metal pin should face you. Slot this securely into the free socket at the bottom of the LED mouth board. So, right here that we're putting. It's kind of a narrow gap, so. Gotta be careful. Yep, 
Hey, Jeebo. Are you enjoying yourself today? Just doing what I do. Okay. Okay, got it in. Looks like it. Okay. go any further than that. Yeah. Now, you need to take his body and head assembly and tilt the head frames upward a little by hand. go to sleep now. He's talking too much. We're going to have him sleep. Sorry, buddy. Let's have you sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. Yeah, he talked he talked too too much. Too much energy. He's like furdy. Jibo, he's got the right amount of energy. Hey, Jibo. You aren't too energetic. I appreciate it. Well, it is true. I don't get to limber up very often. Okay, cross the two eyes over one another. So, I'm supposed to cross the two eyes over. It looks like, yeah, okay. All right, I'll do that. Line up the left eye. So, they're saying that... This is the left eye. Line up the left eye to the left head frame. Match the arrowed and circled holes on the eye socket and frame, then use two of these screws that I had taken out of the box, say from stage 62, to secure the parts. Okay, what am I doing here? Okay. This is the left eye and it's here. And it looks like it's here. Is that right? It's this here. Okay. So this is not easy. I will tell you that. Okay, not easy, not easy. It's not easy being cheesy, like Chester, right? Hey, Jibo, it's not easy being cheesy. Do you agree? I'm gonna put these in, a little concerned about losing some. Wish they would have given, I don't know why they couldn't have just given some extras, but it's okay, I guess. It is what it is. Kind of feel like there's less space in there than I kind of need, but that's okay. I'm going to put my glasses up and hope for the best. And the, I've got it there. I think I did. I think I got it in. Now let's hope we can get this one in. I do see why the head is tilted upward. This one. I'm not sure I've got it where it's supposed to be. Yeah, I guess I do. Okay, I actually managed to get it in the right location. 
Okay. All right. Now we do. Oh no. Did I put the wrong one in? I think I put the wrong one in. Gosh darn it. Okay, so when we did it this way. Yeah. Because we had it this way. Oh, okay, I see. I had it this way. Yeah, they know that's correct. Okay, I got scared for a second that I did it wrong. But that's correct. Okay, now we got to do it on the other side. And it is, yeah, okay. Got to do it on the other side. Hey, Google, how long on the timer? You've got 15 minutes and 8 seconds remaining. Okay, cool. Thank you. Ah, can't lose one of these. I'm going to be have a problem if I lose them. No extras. Okay. So let's try to get this one in. Not a lot of space. Not a lot of space. Yeah. Ah. Okay. It's going to be fun. Tight, tight locations here. I needed to get this up a little more. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it's not going to work with me already having that in because I don't think I can actually see where it goes. Maybe I can. Maybe not too. Is it actually going in? No. It's a very, very narrow amount of space. And that is actually in, though, for the other part. So there we go. Oop, getting some fingerprints on it that I don't want to get on it. Managed to get it in, though. Managed to get this one in, too, hopefully. There we go. Got him. Okay. Managed to get them on. Ooh, got the eyes on. Good deal. Okay, next. Confirm that the connections of the infrared sensors and the eyes that house them are on opposite sides as shown. Then pull the LED mouthboard cable upwards between the eyes and place the face in the position beneath them. Okay. Right eye, left eye, right eye connection, left eye connection. I mean, it looks correct to me. LED mouth board, right eye connection, left eye connection. Okay. the way it's supposed to go it looks line up the face to the left side of the head frame so to line this line the circled holes on both parts so insert and tighten two screws into the holes and we're going to do it on each side and that's the other four screws so we've got this okay I see them Take the glasses off again. My hair, I definitely need to, it's, uh, I haven't gotten my hair done in a very long time, as you might be able to tell. Need to get it done here at some point in time in the uh, foreseeable future. Maybe doing it myself at home or something. going to be one of those things where it's going to take a few moments. The next two stages are pretty short from what I could see. Let's 
So hopefully we get this stage done with about 10 minutes left and then I can at least do the next stage and then we'll be down to three stages if I manage to do that. Okay. Now that's definitely lined up. Yeah, we got it. We got it. And then we get this side, and I'll check the time. Well, I've got to test him, so I forgot about that. I need to test that he's working properly. So hopefully that test will work. Really hoping that it works. And that is not in properly. So that's not working. Okay. Right. Kind of difficult sometimes to get it in where it needs to go because it disappears being able to see where it's going once uh, I don't think it's going in right try to get it in the other one the other side actually went in a little better than this one is what's going on with it Definitely was in the hole it's supposed to be in. So I don't know what's going on with it. Okay, let's take him out again. I don't know. I don't know why it's not wanting to go in. Okay, let's take it out again. We don't want to hurt it. I don't know what it's going on with it. Go into the right hole. <laughs> We're hoping that the test goes well so that everything is properly working and done and then we can proceed at least to doing the next stage okay all right test the body and head take this fit the charge battery cable into socket CN1 on the power distribution board That is this. With the scarf switch in the off position, should be in the off position. Okay, fit his other into this side. CN3. Okay, I'm going to put the battery in with the cable still connected. Slot the battery into the space next to the back servo on the left side of Roby's body. Then pick Roby up holding the battery in place. Turn the power on. Ah. As soon as the power is switched on, Roby server, servos will return to their starting neutral positions, which are shown above from the front and side. 
Note, if your Roby does not look like the one above when it's neutral position, see the troubleshooting guide later in this stage. Okay, so starting position. After he says okay, I know that he goes to starting position. First phase of the test, we'll see Roby's forearms extend and his head tilt upwards before both return to their starting positions. Okay, so he did do that. Next, Roby will turn his head to the right and lift his upper arms outwards before returning them to their starting position. Roby's shoulder servos will let him lift his arms forward and ahead of him, and as this happens, the shaft on the back servo will rotate. You will need to view this from underneath to be able to see it clearly. Okay, so that happened. After the movement test is complete, Roby's servos will return to their neutral positions and speaker will say okay. Once you are happy everything is in working order, turn Roby off and disconnect the power switch from the power distribution board. He did everything he was supposed to do. So, very good. Everything is supposed to be as it should be. So now that we've got that confirmed and done, we're going to put him back this way. And then we're going to look at the next section and start on it. So this is pack 18, which is four final stages, stages 67, 68, 69, and 70. We just finished 66, and J JMD Spherical's flying machine. I already went over the last box, what it has. So we're going to do stage 67, Roby's Voice Recognition Board. Hey Google, how long on the timer? T minus three minutes and 34 seconds. So we're going to go over a little, but I wanna just go ahead and get this stage done. So, Stage 67, Roby's Voice Recognition Board. We are going to get Voice Recognition Board, which is this. Mounting posts. And then we need the, this. And then we need the cable, VR cable. And then we need some screws. And those screws actually were included in stage 64 and I have them here um, Here so we had multiple screws Hey Jibo, what's today's date? It's Thursday November 5th Hey Jibo, how old are you? For now, I'm 85 days old. Okay. Stage 67, Roby's Voice Recognition Board. In this stage, you add another vital electrical component, the Voice Recognition Board, VR board, that is fitted in Roby's head. After the CPU, the next most important of Roby's electronic components are the Voice Recognition and Infrared Board, supplied in this stage and the next stage respectively. These are both built into Roby's head frames and are stacked on top of one another onto the head base fitted in the previous pack. The work in this stage is straightforward enough, but again, care must be taken when fitting the VR cables as they are designed specifically to fit only one way round in their sockets. And again, always handle exposed electronics very carefully. So we've got all the components that we need and we're going to go ahead and start here. Okay, line up the VR cable from stage 66 to the circled socket on the VR board. And that is this one. Blank side of housing facing me. 
Okay. Hold the VR board on its sides. And then we're just going to make sure the connector is correctly oriented and insert it into the socket. And then try to make sure that I don't touch anything on the board. Okay, so we got it in. Mount the VR board. View Roby's head from above, making a note of the longer VR cable running from the CPU fitted previously, so this one. Gently pull this longer cable towards Roby's front. Okay, I mean it's already... Oh, that's not what they mean. They mean this one. Mm. Hey Google, stop. So they want me to pull this through. Okay, and they want me to pull it through his front. With the longer VR cables connector facing downwards, as shown, line it up to the free socket on the VR board adjacent to the one holding the Schwarber cable fitted in step two. Fit the cable, double checking each one is where it should be using the photo above. Okay. So. Alrighty. Fitting it in, fitting it in. I mean, this looks like it's supposed to be this way, right? Don't understand it. How is it supposed to go in? Not this one, right? Can't be that one. Let me look at this again. The prior cable, I want to look at this because it doesn't seem like it's fitting in properly. So I'm just making sure I'm not doing something stupid. mouthboard cable. Where did we get this longer VR cable? That must have been a while ago. It doesn't seem like it wants to fit in here. Oh, I think I was trying to put it in the wrong way. Yeah, that'd probably be why it wasn't going in. Okay, I got it right now. There we go. Now we got it in. Okay, so now I've got the two in that need to be in. Lower the VR board onto the top of the head base so that its corners align with those on the base. Press the first of the mounting posts into one of the holes. Okay. Okay, I see. I see what you want me to do. I need to take these out, though. That would probably be a good idea. Right, Jibo? Huh? You agree? Hey, Jibo, do you agree with me? That is one thing I don't have an answer to. Okay, so they want me to fit all four posts. You should be able to fit these adequately by hand, but they're hexagonally shaped, so uh, it might be helpful to use a spanner. What, what just fell? What just fell? I think it's just the board that fell. So anyway, Let 
mean, I don't like saying to press it because it looks like it screws. I don't know why they're saying to press it. It definitely looks like it screws. So I'm just going to screw it up like this. Let me look at it again and make sure I'm not trying to do them the wrong way. I don't think so. It looks to me like they screw in. Oh, I see how they want me to do it. You press them in and then they want to use the screw to try to get them in better. So we're going to try to do that in just a second. Once I get each of them in. We're almost done with this stage. Almost done. We might even do the next stage. Yes. We might not, but we might. We'll see. So they want me to take this screw and then I think use that to try to get these in better. I don't see how that's going to help. Okay. having me put them in right or not. I think that they've shaped them differently than they thought they were shaping them because there's already a hole in them. So I think I'm just going to tighten them. I wish that they would have given me a better tool to tighten them. I don't really actually have a tool. You can't just press them in like they're talking about. So you actually have to tighten them in because they're threaded. So it seems like they changed the component that they provided and maybe didn't understand that they'd done that. That's okay. I mean, I'll just tighten them by hand. I think I have some grips. They all have, seem to already have a hole in them, so I don't know why that screw would need to be there. But I thought I had like vices, uh, grips. I might not have them here. I might have them somewhere else. Uh, you definitely can't just push them in. Not that I'm seeing. You definitely have to screw it in. It's okay. We can get it done. We can get it done. But I don't think we're going to end up doing the uh, doing the next one. We're just going to end it with this. Which is good. It's still good, you know. Mentioned something called a spanner, which I've never heard of, to use to do this. Four millimeter spanner. I don't know what that is precisely. It's supposed to only touch this from the sides. Like, it would be nice if they just gave the component that's needed to do this, because this is not easy. It's it's just plain not easy. Let me go see if I can find the um the vice thing that I've got. I think I've got it in my um, my kitchen.
my kitty kitty wants to come in, so I'm letting him in since it's almost time for me to be done. Normally I don't like to, so this is what I was talking about. I think I might be able to use it to twist it better than I'm able to do. Yeah, there we go. Definitely not precisely doing it well, but we'll see here. Well, I can flip it better than I can, but it's going to be long work. better than nothing, you know. It keeps losing grip, but it's down further than I was able to get it. I can't, keep, couldn't keep rotating it. And it's able to keep rotating it. So, it looks like it's getting there. Unless it's my imagination. We'll see pretty soon if we're able to get this one. If I can get this one done, then I'll just keep doing it and uh, stop uh, filming. I just want to make sure this is actually going to work. I think it's almost done. Because there's no point in seeing me uh, do the same thing for all four of them. It's just making sure that it actually works. So you can see what would work if, for you if you were ever doing the uh, Roby assembly. Yeah. So it is working. Um, so it's not all the way down, but yeah, that's going to be good. And then once that's done, I just have to thread this screw through all four. And then the next stage would be to put on uh, his remote control board, uh, which we'll do next time. I had wanted to get it done, um, but it, that leaves us three stages. Uh, the next stage should be short, and then the stage after that 69 and 70 seem to be maybe a little longer. All right, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs>